Hi everyone and welcome on this latest video. So this video will be about using Nomix Space Grade Honeycomb combined with Prepreg. So in the previous video I did it with a resin infusion. This time it's with Prepreg. So I'm using the Easy Preg combined with a Honeycomb uh, Space Grade Nomix. It's two millimeter thick, and I'll be making uh, this place like a docking station for my Sony Xperia Z. So it fits with the iPhone as well, the problem is the button is below the docking station. So I'm using some aluminium, I hope it pronounced it well for the Americans or English, it's aluminium or aluminium. Um, so here is my little setup with the vacuum bag, everything will be going into the oven. This is a cutting mat just to work in a proper way. So the first step, this is why there's um, a little tag on top with the uh, insulation tape. It's just to know which side has some release agent and which not. So here I'm making a little mistake. I was going for a V weave. Um, so I just thought I could cut it, turn that little piece around and have a V weave. So it's like shaped in a V. The problem is you can't do this with this surface pre break so um, normally if you should go um, in the other way like I will show you in the next shot so here is the shot so here when you just turn the piece of pre break around because you can use both sides of the pre break you can get that view weave but you cannot do it with um, the surface layer because you can only use it on one side and that's the resin rich um, part is going onto the mold so here I'm just tacking up some pre break I'm using um, the easy preg as a surface layer and then I'm using the Vari preg 200 and 440 on each side so it's six layers in total so here I'm just stacking them up, stacking them up on the cutting mat and then I'll be placing it into the mold so it's easier to work that way. So here you can see I'm removing uh, the last layer, in fact it was the first layer but here is the surface and the surface will be coming onto the mold side so I'm just turning it around, trying to center it a bit and then rolling it on uh, with a roller to get a firm bond. So the problem is, like here you can see there's some pre brick sticking out that will be into the breeder fabric so that's why I'm cutting it out on the mold. I'm doing this on the mold because it's it was um, this mold will only be used one time it's just for a, a test piece. So now I'm, re I'm removing the bag and I'm positioning the Nomex and then I'm just trying to be very careful to just combine both um, Nomex pieces next to each other. So these are leftovers I've used from the previous video. So if you can do it in one piece it's always better but here I'm just putting two small pieces of leftovers together and just trying to put them next to each other. If you don't, you will have some um, an open line and resin will just fill everything. So in this case also I think the pre break just filled some of the Nomex. So you won't get a perfect cosmetic part doing it the way I do. Um, but it's like if it's more like structural, structural parts and so on, you should be perfectly fine. So you save a lot of time compared to the infusion with the Nomex. So here I'm just masking off the sharp edges of the mold and this is how it looks like. So this is the bottom of the docking station you see here. So I'm just positioning the second half of the mold. I'm just trying to be very careful to position it well. So just using the roller once again just to try to remove any trapped air so here I'm using the breeder fabric here's here might be a small mistake I've made so the edge of the mold 
might have been taped off just to prevent any resin bleeding out into the breeder so everything is stacked into the vacuum bag this is also a recycled bag I've used from a previous project uh, but it was still perfect perfectly fine so I was able to reuse it once again so a perfect vacuum is if achieved I did a drop test everything worked out well then everything is going into the oven so this might be a restriction so it has to fit into the oven like with any pre-break and unless you are NASA you don't have an enormous oven so um, this is mostly for smaller pieces so after a few hours it's time to demold the piece I just love that sound of the part popping out of the mold so here's the part And like you can see, it's it's not perfect, but it's extremely strong. So this is one of the strongest parts I've made till now. After the plate I've made with all my leftovers from free from pre-break, as you can see, just I'm trying to show you with the shine. Uh, due to the like, I would say like it's a cheap mold. Um, the finish wasn't that great, but after cutting, you might get okay result so I call it that way if you would really like to make something perfectly um, with a high gloss finish and so on you should be using another mold so I've cut out the area where the cell phone will be fitted in with um, a permagrid rotary tool with my Dremel um, I have a list of all the materials used um, in the description down below most of them you will be able to find on the web shop of easy composites so here I'm just fish finishing off uh, with my logo on it and then it's time to clear I hope you liked this video, if you liked it please give it a like, uh, share with your friends and just comment if you need some more information. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, if you like my videos and want to see more please subscribe, you can just click on the YouTube icon. Um, also check out my Facebook page um, during the projects I mostly post some pictures in between so if you can't wait for the next tutorials and so on just give my page a like